hi guys in this tutorial we're going to go about looking at how you would get your facebook pixel now don't be confused like i said a lot of the talk on the internet sometimes it just scares you all a pixel does is track conversions like suppose you make a sale some suppose somebody opts into your squeeze page etc and it helps obviously with retargeting because once somebody comes to your page and they take an action that you are tracking which the facebook pixel does facebook obviously gathers that person's information and then they add them to what you would call a retargeting list if you are going to go about retargeting etc so that is all that a pixel does but mind you you should add the pixel to your page especially your landing page etc especially if you're going to collect leads now how would you go about doing that from your page all you have to do is to click on these nine dots right here then you go to add right here and we're not going to create a new campaign as yet cancel and then you come over here to these three bars right here you click here on events manager click here on the plus connect data sources then you come to web click on that click connect right here you come to Facebook pixel and then you click connect you enter a name for your pixel you can leave this as it is and then just click on continue then here you will click on manually add pixel code to your website or if you're going to send it to or if you're going to be using like Shopify or WordPress or any of those other methods you can use this use a partner who will install it for you so right now click on install code manually and here is the Facebook pixel so all you have to do is to copy this code right and as you can see it says paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section just above the head tag and I'm going to go over to one of my pages now and show you how you would do that and I'm also going to show you how you would do it on a WordPress page which is slightly different okay so we have copied the code and on my page or on your page you will obviously look for the page code header section like suppose you're using click funnels or max funnels or any other page builder and then right in the header you would copy and paste the code and you would obviously click save click save now now like I said for WordPress it is going to be slightly different so for WordPress you would navigate obviously to the dashboard of your WordPress site you would go to plugins you would click on add new you would come here and you will search for header and footer plugin you would obviously activate it I'm just going to switch over to another site because this isn't my site I, I don't want to add a um, header and a footer in this but it would look something like this you would activate obviously the plugin then you would go to settings you will look for insert header and footers you would insert the pixel 
in the header script like I said and of course over on your WordPress site right up here you will see publish so ladies and gentlemen this is how you would go about adding your Facebook pixel to your page of course you can take it one step further and add there is a Facebook pixel extension right that you can add to Chrome I have it on my page somewhere it was um, me enable it again so that I can show you but what you would do is you would go about here adding it to Chrome and every time an event happens on your page you'll be able to see it up here let me just show you that by moving this up further right here on your page right here this will be your Facebook pixel helper right here and every time an event happens on your page you would obviously see this light up on your page now let's just test it so that you can see what I am talking about um, I need to pin it and then let's just test this so you can see what I'm talking about so you need to publish this page I've already saved it let's publish it so just so that we can see that this Facebook pixel is working click here on continue you can turn on this if you want to obviously verify the customer information you want to send like the email first name gender etc or you can turn it off you can click on continue right here and then you can open the event setup tool of course you read here use the event setup tool to open your website using the event setup tool select where on your website you like to add events with a simple click your event is added to your website without needing to use code of course you can install events using code or install the events without using the code um, open event setup tool right here put in the URL of your website let me just take this up a little so you can see what happens before I open the website you can see that it has lit up already because we are on the Facebook site but just click then on open the website you can see it has gone and now it is lighted again so ladies and gentlemen there you can see this is how you will go about adding your Facebook pixel to your HTML site or your WordPress site and I'll see you in the next tutorial